Uh, my name is Corazon Sandoval Foley, founding chairman of the Fairfax County Asian American History Project that initiated the annual naturalization ceremony in Fairfax County since 2009. Today is our eighth annual naturalization ceremony, so we are very pleased that we are able to welcome over 700 new Americans as of today. Uh, I'm also pleased that a sister organization, for which I also serve as founding chairman, is here to welcome all of you as our fellow Americans during this pre-ceremony segment. The Burke West Springfield Senior Center Without Walls, Seniors Giving Back to the Community, will perform international folk dances to encourage all of you to strengthen and enrich our American society by sharing your talents, your skills, your hard work, your devotion to American principles of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, as well as your heritage and traditions nurtured by your mothers, your fathers, your grandparents, and the community for, in which you were born. I am a Filipino-American, was born in the Manila, Philippines, and it was on a hot July like today, on July 10th, 1973, when I stood like you, excited and ecstatic during my own naturalization ceremony. My life as an American has been blessed by this great and generous American community that believes that one should be judged by one's character and contributions to our society. And I have had the honor of representing our American principles and interests during my professional career for 30 years with the U.S. State Department as a diplomat and intelligence officer. Our American society encourages all of us to share our heritage and traditions to enrich and strengthen our community. Today, we will share with you international folk dances to welcome and congratulate you as fellow Americans. Our team shares traditional costumes for many of our dances, but our goal is to welcome everyone to join the folk dance program. Folks do not have to wear traditional costumes to share our world heritage and to have fun. We will share eight dances. The first four will focus on folk dances from Asia, ending with a graceful hula from America's western shores of Hawaii. The last four will focus on folk dances from Europe, and the finale will be a lively barn dance from America's eastern shores of our beloved Virginia. So let us begin with a Korean fan dance that will be uh, demonstrated by June Company. We <laughs> How many here are from Korea? Oops, real? <laughs> okay, well, new Americans from the Philippines. Mabuhai, <laughs> welcome. So the second dance that we will be performing is from where my parents and my ancestors came from, the Philippines. It will be, uh, the dance will be La Jota Moncadena. La Jota Moncadena is a graceful legacy from 330 years of history of the Philippines as a colony of Spain from 1565 to 1898. The Jota is a style of Spanish dance which most likely originated in the northeastern Aragon region of Spain in the 17th and 18th century and became popular throughout the country. It combines Spanish and Filipino dance steps in music accompanied by bamboo castanets that make the dance lively, gay, and delightful. The dance demonstrates the happy and playful nature of the Filipino character with steps that include chasing by dance partners, peekaboo, and lively brush steps. Dancers wear the traditional Maria Clara and Barong Tagalog costumes of the Philippines and we welcome, as we say, everybody to dance it with us. And you do not have to wear the costumes, but enjoy the Philippine culture. So ladies and gentlemen, La Jota Moncadena from the Philippines.
My mother would have been very proud of that one. Actually, my grandmother would have loved that one. Okay, how many are you from China? Yay, there you are.